Hey, Steve Gamash here with another Chef Knives to Go quick look product review. And this time we have a very special knife. This is the Triple H uh, from Randy Haas and his son Randy Jr. who does these ridiculous Damascus uh, patterns and designs. Uh, so this is their Damascus uh, Sujihiki 260mm knife. The steel made to, to made on this, basically the construction is a Damascus uh, forged pattern weld. And so this, the two steels that they use are the 1080 carbon steel and uh, 15N20, which has some nickel in it, which gives the shiny aspect when you do the etching. So that's why there's some shininess to the... Basically, that's the other steel, the 15N20, and then you've got the 10 So it's a reactive blade. It's not stainless. The heat treat doesn't really specify. I'm going to assume it's 60 to 61 or 2, probably. Uh, it's not really specified. The weight on the knife is 174 grams, or 6.1 ounces, and the blade length is right at 260 or 10 and a quarter inches. The overall length is around 16 inches for the entire blade. And the spine thickness up here above the back of the, the blade here, the chin, is about 2.5 millimeter. And we'll get a look at it closer, but it basically holds that and then starts tapering off with a really well-done distal taper towards a very thin tip. The height on this blade back here at the chin is 40 millimeter to the spine. And then the handle type is just really superb as per... Uh, all the Haas knives, but Triple H knives. It's a uh, redwood, main wood, and it looks like a, maybe a black pack of wood or stabilized uh, wood. But we'll show you a close-up. But the cool thing about this uh, construction, it's a dovetail. So he's got a true dovetail here between the two, and then he's, of course, sanded that and shaped that into the octagonal shape. The, uh, it's just a gorgeous knife. Uh, great execution, of course, on the handle as you might expect from Triple H knives. Let's take a close-up look. This thing is just ridiculous. It's You open the box and, you know, pictures in this video does not do this knife justice. You, you can feel just a little bit of tactile sense there, the layers, and it's just gorgeous. It's I don't know how they do this, but it is this fabulous craftsmanship at the highest, highest level. So this is the first... Well, actually, I've seen one other one, but this is the first true Damascus I've really seen in the flesh and it's just an absolutely stunning knife. So here's the Triple H logo and again it's just gorgeous. It's it's hard to explain how pretty this is when you take it out of the box. It's just in person it's just stunning. So as you might expect fit and finish on the blade is absolutely fabulous. Uh, great edge out of the box and just nice fit and finish, rounded spine, uh, choil, nice rounded choil there. The handle fit and finish is superb. So there's your dovetail coming in there between the two. It's just awesome. And, you know, perfect fit and finish on this handle. Let's take a look at uh, the blade thickness. And it, it kind of actually thickens up just a touch, but then has a gentle taper all the way down and gets real thin at the tip. Balance point on this particular knife is right about there. So it actually feels quite light in the hand. And let's take a look at it on a cutting board if you want to see what that looks like. So this is just a beautiful collectible category knife, but it's also a working tool. So uh, these are absolutely stunning, but they'll get the job done in the kitchen as well. Randy designs these to be used. So you've got a fair amount of belly right here towards the tip. Of course, this is a Suji. It's not necessarily a general purpose knife, but you've got a fair amount of clearance on the cutting board. And this knife could get some use as a, for a number of duties besides slicing. It gets pretty thin at the edge. Let's take a look at it. So here's a choil shot on the knife. Get that focused right. And it gets pretty darn thin at the edge. And as you might expect, the, the, the grind is just beautifully done on this thing. It's just superb. And that's a look at the profile of the blade. So I don't know what else to say about this. It's just, it's fantastic looking. 
It's just a piece of just handmade artisan craftsmanship at its finest. And so there you have the Triple H uh, Damascus Sujihiki 260 millimeter knife.